I 3D printed this camera rig in one day compared to having to spend around $200 locally for a proper setup. But is this really the right option? Let's take a closer look. The cage itself is 100% solid PLA, has several mounting options and is entirely customizable in CAD software, if that counts as a point. A small rig cage for the Lumix G9 costs over 180 New Zealand dollars, but it does have a full metal construction, tons of mounting options, and it's also designed specifically for the camera, which comes with its own benefits. Cons wise, the printed cage is still plastic, and even though it feels really rigid, there is no exception for a proper metal cage. It could also be more optimized, but that's due to my lack of CAD experience. As for the small rig cage, I would say it's almost perfect, aside from the startup cost, as that's why I'm unable to test it. However, like most filmmaking gear, it will last, so it's good to buy the right thing from the get-go, even if it does cost a little bit more. This will only save you time and stress in the long run. I've also printed this top handle, which I found online, and it fits onto the cage like this. It's surprisingly solid, but I did print it with 100% infill and multiple walls, so we'll see how it holds up. It only took a day to print and used less than a dollar of filament, so it's quite economical. The only downside is the actual metal one for this is only 30 bucks. So for the added reliability of having a metal handle, I'd say that the printed one isn't really worth it. That's not gonna stop me from testing these though. But before we do that, I wanna give these a new coat of paint as the white color is kind of distracting. With the parts looking good and the new coat of paint, it was time to give them a test drive with the camera. I wasn't sure what to expect, but the system did work. However, this project will have to be saved for the future, as I have to get to work on the next one. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.